morning and welcome to another day of landscape photography in the spectacular, spectacular Scotland. Before we get started though, this episode is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a domain name, a website or an online store, then make your next move with Squarespace. Last week it was difficult. I had a hard time bringing the huge landscape down into an interesting composition. So what we're doing today is we're going to head over to Glencoe where you've got those stunning scenes with the that quite famous mountain which I'm hopefully going to capture again. I've I've shot it in the past. I want to do something with it today though. On the way though we've stopped here at Ruthven Barracks and there's just this stunning scene going down to the barracks at the bottom of the hill here and that is what I'm going to capture. Just look how beautiful that morning light is as it's striking those mountains and that's going to feature in the background of the shot. I've put the barracks which is raised up on a little sort of mound on the rule of thirds and I'm going to let that carry up into the stunning background of these mountains here and it's just going to work really nicely as a shot. There is a visitor's centre quite close to the castle but we've come up a little way past there to get this viewpoint and I've sort of hiked up through very very deep snow to get to this little spot. I've therefore got the 70 to 200 millimeter lens on the camera because I want to get in a little bit closer to the barracks and frame my composition properly. At the moment I'm at 100 millimeters to get the composition that I want and then I'm at f11 just because it's about right for this scene. Shutter speed I'm at 1 25th of a second and I've just got the polarizer on the front just to lift the blues and the contrast in the sky because it is quite flat there's a little bit of haze in the air as well and the polarizer will help with that just a little bit so it's going to be a really great shot to get the day started off. So. I've got it composed already, I'm just going to fire the shutter off, I'm bracketing just to be sure, let's have a look. That's looking absolutely beautiful. Now we've got a long drive to get to Glencoe but that is a perfect start to the morning. After a very long and difficult drive we have arrived at Glencoe and it's been a little bit of a blessing in disguise actually because when we arrived at the sort of place we planned to go where you get that classic shot of that classic mountain which I can't pronounce the car park was round. It's part of the problem is just the snow is so deep and there's about two feet of snow at the moment. Just have a look at this and you can see how deep it is and that's the same on the road where the ploughs pushed it to the side of the road and there's literally nowhere to park. There is a little road you can go down as well but that's totally blocked. So we've had to turn around and find another little lay-by to park in which like I say has been a blessing in disguise because what I've found is this scene here with this mountain here is what I'm shooting at the moment. The sun has just risen over the peak of the bigger mountain there and that's now making the shot a bit more difficult but I did manage to capture something just as it was coming up so I'll talk you through that now. What we have, very bright, is the mountain here which is the main subject of my image here and the beautiful mist just coming down the valley and sort of just settling in that little area there and it's just looking absolutely magical like a winter wonderland. The sun as well just makes it feel beautiful and gives it that extra wintry mountain feel and it's just it's incredible to be here. There's a little bit of noise from the road but that's okay and that is creeping into my image a little bit. It's just cutting off the corner of my image. I may clone that out or I may just leave it because that's the scene I'm shooting but certainly that's it's not the road I'm thinking about. It's giving such an incredible feel. It's going to be nice and hopefully low in contrast as that golden light is shining across this perfectly unspoiled snow. It's just so bright as well. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. But as you look at the surface of the snow as well, you just get these sparkling reflections catching the light and reflecting it back into the camera. And it's just adding another element of interest to the scene. It's been a difficult day so far, a lot of time, more time than I would have wanted in the car to be honest. The roads are horrendous as well. It is uh, making it a bit difficult but 
when you're welcomed with this at the end of it, it's all very much worth it. Like I was saying, it, it was really, really busy down at the car park and there was probably about 100 photographers capturing an image of this mountain here today. We have trekked up one of the most difficult sides of a mountain I have ever trekked up. The snow is probably in this bit about two feet deep. We have trekked up to a bit where no one else has been today over some deer tracks using the poles to feel the way, but it was extremely difficult. But now gotta say look at this it's just been so worth it the sun is just teasing the top of the mountain there as it's moving this way through our scene behind us there and it's just a magical moment really we've had the drone up as well there are some deer just over there I'll try and get in nice and close so you can see them as well but it's just an absolutely magical surrounding so with that in mind I then want to capture it so I'm trying a couple of things I'm actually shooting back at the same mountain that I was shooting with. I'm really sorry, I don't know the names of it, but it's this one over here. The fog keeps rolling in down the valley and covering the bottom of the image. And then there's some trees over this side that are leading you in from the bottom right hand corner of the image. The road sort of snakes its way through the image as well and then up into the mountain. And then there's a little bit of the mountain behind me in the image and the sun just, just poking out into the image. So I'm using bracketing because there's a big dynamic range. I want to make sure I can capture that little bit of sun that is there and then still capture the detail in the foreground shadow area as well. So I think I've managed to do that. That should be a really nice shot once I get it back into the computer later. That's it really. We're just going to now sit here, fly the drones around, enjoy the moment as the sun starts to set with a mate in a spectacular place like this. Nothing better. What an absolutely spectacular day. It has been difficult at times, like I said, getting in and out of the car all the time can be a bit frustrating. Since we've got out and had a bit of a difficult hike up this mountain though, it has got a lot better. I feel a lot happier about it. That bit of exercise, getting up high, away from the crowds, away from the other photographers, is what it's all about for me and I have enjoyed it immensely. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Just remember as well, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you go to squarespace.com, you can start your free trial today. And if you go to squarespace.com slash first man, you can get 10% off your first order. Anyway, please do subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think. I'm struggling to talk a bit because it's so cold and my lips have stopped moving, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you on another one very, very soon. I'm Adam. This is First Man Photography in the amazing Glencoe out. What a day.